Hey everyone. This is a Katie's ceiling fan. Dead. We are going to be installing over here. This is my. This is my parents' bedroom in my relative's house. I've been wanting a ceiling fan here since I was like a kid. So, I'm doing it. But now you're, you're the problem seeing the video of the fan already up. So, here's the manual for it. So, here's the buff for it. Here's the model book. Brush my pen. Apparently these fans are not actually sold in Singapore where Kayla is from. This is, it seems to be a Philippine exclusive, or rather a Worldcon exclusive. Worldcon is like our version of like Home Depot, Lowe's, and whatnot. Here's the inside of the box, the blades. These are actual plywood, by the way, not MDM. It's a canopy, it's a closed nut system. Uh, standard plastic bag, warning stickers. There's the down rod, which we're likely not gonna use. Here's the um, chains, screws and stuff, balancing kits. These are the blade holders. I'm not gonna take things out of the wrapping just because, you know, I kind of want it to be neat when we actually put it up later. Here is the lower part instruction manual. I'll kind of go through that last because it's, I guess, it's kind of the boring bits. Funny story actually, when we were buying this fan at the store, at first when we we're picking out this fan, they thought it was out of stock. But turns out it actually was in stock. And when they finally found one in the shelves, took it down, opened up the box, the globe for the light was broken. So what they did was they had to... This bit right here was broken. I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't want to break this again. They actually had to get the glue from a, a version of this fan with a, a, a different fan. They just opened the box of another version of this fan with a different finish and stole the glue off that. So yeah, but right. that was come with an actually these days. I'm gonna show you the motor. I think the motor is gonna be the only thing I actually take out of the bag because it's kind of easy to put back everything else. I'm just gonna leave it inside the packaging. Here's the actual motor. Here's the connector for the light kits. So if there's any easy way to remove this, to show you the actual motor. There is. I'm not sure how big it is. I'm sitting this fan on something it shouldn't be sitting on. So. It is somewhat safer. Find this motor again. It is 153. It is kind of disappointing, but you know, it's not, it's can't really expect too much. My parents were actually on a budget, so couldn't get you know, the most expensive, you know, 188 millimeter or DC fan, so this is what we gotta do with. I mean, this fan is basically a slightly modified version of a Westinghouse Comets, which, which, you know, honestly isn't that bad. So, stickers. K. 
things. Must be the serial number. And I'm gonna put the motor back inside <laughs> the box before. One thing that I did not mention is that I'm surprised that this fan does not seem to come with any form of safety cable. A lot of fans these days do, and I actually thought I saw some brief document which suggested that the IEC now requires fans to have safety wise, but apparently not. At least, maybe not in all countries. But, yeah, I don't know. 